All right, another day in paradise. Does anyone like these shirts? I know I said it in a couple of videos back. Um, I get them from American Eagle. They're like $13. This video isn't sponsored by them or anything, but man, these things are comfortable for real. Like it stretches, it's got nice tropical colors. I got my cool paradise Aruba hat. It's got little tears on here. I feel like I need to be like the national spokesperson for like Kona beer or something driving the trucks, like Hawaiian shirt. Nice little Hawaiian cool hat, even though it's from Aruba. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, guys, the number one tip that I can give first time cruisers, new cruisers, it's going to be. So without further ado, let's hit the two minutes in paradise clock. Mm. Let's go right into this thing. I'm gonna beat this clock today. All right, so you're going on a cruise soon and everyone likes to ask me, Griff, what's the number one cruise tip I should be prepared for? Griff, what's the number one cruise tip I should do before booking my cruise? I'm on a cruise now, what's the number one cruise tip? And the answer to that question is actually really simple. But before I get started, I need to let you know that there's no such thing as a bad cruise. It's actually you booked the wrong cruise, which leads me into the number one tip, and that's booking the right cruise. Let me explain. Whenever Alyssa and I book a cruise, there's a few things we like to keep into consideration, and I've narrowed it down to this simple little acronym called SHIP, S-H-I-P. It's gonna start off with booking the right cruise line. So, what kind of cruiser do you think you're gonna be? Are you gonna want a lot of fun and adventure, but at the same time, you don't wanna go bankrupt on the cruise? Then maybe you should look into Carnival. Or maybe you have teenagers and tweens that get bored really fast. They need a lot of activities on the ship as well. Maybe you should look into Royal Caribbean or Norwegian. These are ships that offer those types of amenities. Um, or maybe you want like peaceful, tranquility, um, quiet, so, something like princess you might want to look into or perhaps you want luxury unique experiences uh, you can look into virgin or viking cruises keep that in mind it starts off with the cruise line that's s h how much does it cost this is going to fall into your budget so once you find the cruise line that you want does it fit into the budget that you're looking for i'm always getting emails always getting notifications in my videos and when I hit mute, like I can't hit mute because then the mic can't hear me. But anyway, getting sidetracked. H, how much does it cost? Make sure it fits within your, make sure it fits within your budget. I, okay, this one's interesting. Interesting excursions, okay? Now, yes, I know excursion starts with an E, but it's, it's for the video. Okay, for the video, interesting excursions. What Alyssa and I like to do is find out what kind of cool excursions we can do with that ship. Um, are they interesting? Are they affordable? Are they fun? Stuff like that. And then the last one is P. Ports of call, baby. What kind of cool islands are we hopping to? Where are we going? What are we doing? Stuff like that. Keep that in mind. So start with the cruise line. How much does it cost? Interesting excursions ports of call and you will find out how to book the perfect cruise for you guys that's two minutes in paradise i hope i made the clock did i make the clock man i hope i made the clock um guys what are some of your number one tips you would give a cruiser a first time cruiser write them in the comment section below again this is a community driven channel i don't know why i said it like that community driven channel help someone out um, if you dig this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. We'll see you guys in paradise on the next one. Peace.